Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard for the BTN HD, and today is all about how to V motion within VMware. So let's get started. So uh, I wanted to migrate this particular virtual machine to this host right here because V host 2, I was going to shut it down. I have a bunch of virtual machines within host 2 and I need to migrate them to their new home, which is host 3. So what you need to do first is locate your virtual machine, right click on it. You want to highlight migrate, click on it and you will get the migrate wizard. Now the option that I pick for my migration was change both compute resource and storage. So that's what I selected. You are able to pick select compute resource first or select the storage first. I left it as a default which is compute resource first. Clicked on next and from here I expanded my data center, my cluster and I located the server where I want this virtual machine to be hosted. I clicked vhost 3 but I had some issues. Uh, it looks like that particular virtual machine has something within the DVD. So what I did was I went inside the vSphere client. I located the machine that I was migrating, right clicked on it, went to edit settings, located the CV DVD drive. I changed the data store ISO file to client and I pressed OK. I went back here, refreshed it, did all the steps again. And when I clicked on the host that I want this machine to go into, I got the green check mark. Green check mark means a good thing. Click on next. From here, pick your storage. Once you pick your storage, you're going to get a green check mark. Make sure you get a green check mark. If you don't get a green check mark, try to fix whatever issues you have before continuing. Click on next. Uh, pick your network. I left it as LAN. Next. Uh, you have two options. I left it as a default, which is schedule V motion with high priority uh, recommended and click next. Nice little summary. Click finish at the bottom right here at your recent task. You're going to see that it is relocating the virtual machine. Eventually, if everything goes well within the recent task, you're going to see completed. Awesome. And within your vSphere web client, you are able to click on the new host uh, like I did and go inside the virtual machine tab and then you will see your new migrated uh, virtual machine. And that's it guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.